I first off want to say, if you're a Georgia sports fan and you had a rough football week, <laughs> I feel you. Georgia lost, the Falcons lost, and then my weekly NFL game predictions that I write on my phone, I've been pretty good all year, but the <laughs> week six, I only had five games right. So I feel you on a pretty bad football week. But for the Atlanta Falcons, to all the people that are saying, wait, guys, just because we're 1-5 and five doesn't mean the season's over. We can make playoffs. We saw the Colts last year do it. We saw the Chiefs in 2015, I think, do it. It's not over. We could do the same thing. I'm going to ask that you take this with a grain of salt. Give up. Give up. We're not making playoffs. It's not happening. If you can't beat the Arizona Cardinals, what makes you think we're going to beat any other team? There's absolutely no excuses to lose that game. Oh, the, the officiating was bad. Oh, it was a road game. It's the Arizona Cardinals. You're not supposed to lose that game. And then we got the Rams and the Seahawks next. Oh, and then the Saints and the Panthers. Then we got the Saints and the Panthers again. Then a road game with the 49ers. Then we got the Jaguars with Gartner Minshew. Heck, we might not even win the two games against the Bucks. But you still think we can make playoffs? We can't even beat the Arizona Cardinals. I hope it happens. But it won't. It's not happening. Dan Quinn's time is up. He's done great things for us, but his time is up. It's time to look for a different head coach. I would look for an offensive minded head coach. Who would that be in specific? I don't know yet, but I would look for a different head coach. Heck, honestly, I'd lose these next. Uh, the, the next games that are coming up just so I can get at least like the fifth round pick in the draft because I don't uh, let's just review what happened during this Cardinals game if you're new here how these game recaps work is we go over three things one what went good during the game two what went bad during the game and three is other news like maybe one of our players got injured so we need to talk about that or maybe one of our division rivals lost, and that does technically help playoff chances, but it's not looking so good right now. Let's start with what went good during this game against the Arizona Cardinals. I will say, this was the most predictable game I've seen in a while. In my game preview versus the Cardinals, I said, watch out, our passing game could break out, and it did. I said our run game could break out, and it did. But then I also said that Kyler Murray is no joke. He could really shred apart our secondary, and he did. Watch out for guys like Chandler Jones, and well, he honestly picked on our offensive line. And then the game almost went into overtime, so I don't know what to make of my Larry Fitzgerald in overtime prediction. But anyway, let's start with the passing game. Yeah, it was the Cardinals secondary, but still something to be proud of. Anyone still want to claim Matt Ryan's the problem? I can say this right now. He even got respect from the media. That's something we all want so badly. Respect from the media. And Matt Ryan got that. He got the whole have a day Matt Ryan. And it showed his jersey and stats. But nope. You guys still think he's a problem. Look. Matt Ryan is fine. Just cut it out with the Matt Ryan needs to go. Is he having a better year than 2016 or even 2018? No. But he's fine. Calvin Ridley is fine, Julio Jones is fine, Austin Hooper is fine, and Muhammad Sanu is fine. And the run game was finally active. And let me guess, it was the Cardinals who have maybe the worst run defense in the league. But it's like, do you want to see our run game do good or bad here? Devontae Freeman had, I believe, 19 carries for 88 yards and two touchdowns. Technically, they weren't rushing touchdowns, but heck, man, I would take two touchdowns any day. Edo Smith was alright as well. Really, offense was clicking. 
even though Chandler Jones did mess with our O-line a little bit, but offense was there. But what went bad during this game? Defense was still very soft and just, oh my goodness, I don't think I need to comment on this anymore. And the coaching was bad. Dan Quinn is doing absolutely nothing to change this team. He looks so unenergized on the sidelines and even press conferences. Now, I will say he's been getting a lot of flack, so I guess he'd ask, how would you feel with all these hate comments? And, you know, that probably is pulling his mentality down a little bit. But it's like, dude, your job is to fix what you're at right now. And the team is all broken. The locker room is just missing, man. There's no culture. There's no accountability. Dan Quinn is doing absolutely nothing to change this team. He probably knows his time is up. But if you want to just finish strong, maybe, I would appreciate that. And if that's not the case, like maybe he's not going to get fired, at least just get this fixed. Because I'm tired of him preaching all this stuff and then he doesn't change anything. And then in other news, the Saints and Panthers are magically winning games, but at least the Bucks lost. <laughs> I know this year is tough, Falcons fans. I know you're all frustrated. And 2019 did not go the way we wanted it to. That is not a secret. This was supposed to be a pretty damn good year for us, but that is not the case. We are most likely going to end the season with a pretty bad record and have a high draft pick, which technically that actually is good news, but at the same time, nobody really wants to hear that we have a high draft pick because that means that our team was not very successful. But anyway, one day, Falcons fans, we will win that Super Bowl. One day, our defense will be elite. Just be patient. It's not this year. We're not cursed. One day, things are going to go our way. But I hope you guys like this video. Please make sure to smash that like button, blow up the comment section, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any weekly content. New episodes every Tuesday and Friday at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern. And I'll see you guys this Friday to preview our matchup versus the Los Angeles Rams. Rise up. Shh.